Hey guys, we are going to do something that's been needed to be done right here, right now, right here on Crappie Monster. We're going to troubleshoot this live scope for some of these problems that a lot of people have been having over the past few months. One of them is transducer not supported, transducer not connected, and the other is the black box not coming on. So I'm going to fire this unit up right here. It is a uh, 1042 unit. I'm going to fire it up and then we'll show you what it does. It'll always go through its cycle and it'll always say transducer not connected until it turns the black box on. The thing to remember is this unit is a relay for the black box. Even though I've got a separate power se se uh, source for my black box, it will not come on unless your head unit tells it to. So that's our other one that we're going to get into about the black box not coming on. So uh, right now let's agree. Okay, here you go. It came right up. Uh, get a close-up of that if you can. Where it says, unsupported transducer, transducer not con connected, check transducer cable. Oh my God, what do we do? Well, we figured out that it's very simple. Make sure in your initial setup that your black box is accessible. That way you can get to it. You need to see the flashing light and find out what's going on. I'm going to open this compartment. There's going to be a flashing light. And here's the easy fix for it. Alright, can you see that, that it's blinking red? Right now we have a red blinking light down on our status. Whether you can see it or not, it is blinking. This cable is labeled XDCR. That is your transducer cable. What you're going to do is simply unscrew this, unplug your transducer. Then you are going to count to 10, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, and so forth. After you get there, you're going to line it up, press it back in firmly, and then watch the green light start flashing. Once the green light starts flashing, you are good to go. So let's see what our head unit looks like here. Now we have our transducer screen. All we have to do, menu, transducer, turn it on, and she is a rolling. All right, I'm gonna shut that off because it's out of the water right now. Now, the other big problem people have been having is, and it's just now started, no, I have not updated my unit since uh, uh, March 2020, roughly. So I don't have any of the new updates. I don't even have the perspective mode updated on here. And I forgot to tell you, please subscribe. Click that uh, bell. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate y'all tuning in, and you are the reason we bring you these tips. Now, back at the beginning, I told you that the head unit is a relay for the black box. All right, this happened to me day two of the ACT tournament down on uh, Ross Barnett. I freaked out. My black box wasn't coming on. My unit's not reading my black box, so I'm not getting power to my black box. So I tore the whole front end of this thing apart trying to figure out what it was. And now you get to just watch a video and know 100% what it is. This is the same problem with Humminbird 360. If you have a 360 that's not reading, this works for it too. It's very, very simple. I went to my black box. No light whatsoever. I didn't have a, a ohm meter on here to check my battery voltage, but I knew that my battery voltage was good. So I unplugged the power cable and attempted what did I just did with my transducer. I left it open for uh, 10 seconds and then plugged it back in and I got a blink of a red light and then nothing. So at that point, I knew that I was getting power to the unit. I had, I, I had previously swapped out my fuse because I keep an extra fuse with me just to make sure that that wasn't a problem. So I knew that the power was not the issue, that the head unit was not telling the black box to come on. So your networking cable, same deal. I unplugged it at the black box, 
waited 10 seconds, plugged it back in, nothing. So here's where the tricky part is. These networking cables are two-piece cables. They've got your long cable and the short cable. I also tried it at the back of the unit, didn't do any good. This is the exact same thing I had to do to my 360 and it's right up here behind the box. On the 360, as well as the uh, live scope, you've got the short 18 inch cable. This is where you unplug and replug, right here. You take the coupling loose, you unplug it, you wait your 10 seconds, put it back in, it reboots the system and you're back to fishing. And I was so thankful for that because we ended up coming in seventh and bringing home a $1,700 check we'd have never had a chance at if I couldn't have figured out how to get this thing going. I just knew I had no choice but to get this thing working. So that's what we did. Make sure that you uh, click the notifications because we're getting ready to come back at you with a video on live scope settings and what to look for on live scope when trying to locate these fish. Till next time guys, we appreciate it. Remember, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you.